Hey guys, these are the D22 Mini and D22 Mini from CXD. If you haven't heard of this brand called CXD, CXD is not WPL and WPL is not CXD. CXD is also not owned by WPL and is not a sub brand of uh, WPL. They are not related. But the owner of WPL, Mr. Huang, as you know, is the designer for these products from CXD. First one was the D12 Mini and these are the new release. Both models are for the Chinese market and there will be a new model for the global market soon. So stay tuned, follow our Asia City Pop Facebook page and also the IG page. So when this came out, I actually have no intention to do product review of them because these are not the typical classic model of a pickup truck and a trailer truck from WPL. These are modern EV cars from China. With WPL, for many people, it's like a blank sheet where you can unleash your creativity, adding accessories, painting it, modifying it. Some accessories will also be released for these cars, such as the surfboard on the roof, as you can see on the packaging. There's also a photo of the roof rack. Then someone commented that he wants to see a review from me before buying one. Okay, so I got myself D22 and D32 mini and I picked the white and the yellow color. I really really like the design of the box. Super super nice. So let's look at the box design. D22 they are light blue and also white color. Whereas the D32 contain yellow and green. Box art is super crazy nice man. Check out the D22 mini first. Whoa this is cute. Yellow color, looks like a minion, Hello. cute minion. Mm. Wow. So both of them comes with a menu in Chinese because this is for Chinese market only. That means we can throw them away. And so you got the remote car and the accessories. On the D32, you get this clear plastic piece, lenses, I believe, for the headlight, the side markers, indicators. And on another bag, you get the 1S USB charger, side mirrors, roof rails, and also some stickers. D22, same thing, some uh, clear plastic lenses, uh, charger, side mirrors, or stickers. Look at this, man. The yellow color is very, very nice. Way nicer than the photo that I've seen. So if you are interested to get some, this will be no regret. Quality is really nice. I know I'm selling it but then as you can see this is a very quality plastic not some cheap plastic and also because this is a licensed model so we have to really do it very nicely. Damn nice man. Maybe after this video is released then <laughs> everyone will be buying the yellow color version but there are also a pink color but I think you should also consider pink color and also the green color. Rather funky I mean you can also buy it for your daughter for example and then the white color more like a normal white with a little bit more plain but also a quality surface. Both D22 mini and the D32 mini has the same wheelbase. The suspension on both of them, I think you call this as a Mepherson strut with a lower arm and a shock tower in there. The switch here, same on the D32. Powered by a 1S 500mAh lithium ion battery. Both are rear wheel driven and since the motor is at the front, so this is considered an MR, right? And the motor is a 130 size, so it's best to just run within 1S, not 2S. On the axle, there are spring as well. Works really well, it's soft and cute. Imagine tickling the legs of your dog. <coughs> Before the lenses are being installed, you can see the headlight trim, a different design. And at the back, the taillight design looks different as well. This center trim is also different. World grille looks the same. And another difference are the wheels design. See, there are, this one has four spoke. This one has like three spoke. More funky kind of looking. D32 Mini, in terms of color, the white and blue is on the whole body. Whereas the D32 Mini will be more sporty. Body color, there are yellow, pink, and green. But the roof, the upper part is white color, so that's like a contrast, more sporty looking. What they mean painted on the D32 Mini is the roof painted, not the body. There are some tiny scratch marks on it. I think this is due to when it's being loaded into the packaging. So hope you're not too fuzzy about it. Most of the angle it is not visible. I'm going to install the accessories and go have some fun. I've unpacked both D22 Mini and D22 Mini lenses, plastic pack, and they look like the same to me. Let's start with the D22 Mini first by following the menu over here. If you can't read Chinese, I think it's fine. Just follow the photo of the parts over here. For D22 Mini, you're gonna use the left piece here, not the right piece. This will not fit into this eye socket. It's the one with some lines at the side. So you sort in at the center, push the other side in, clip it in. Yeah. For rear lens, although they come with a pack of lenses that are the same, you're gonna use the one on the left for the D22 Mini. Slot in the side with the longer tab and then push in the shorter one. This design will be for the D32. Install these tiny lenses. This is a uh, like the side indicator. 
very very small one. Clear indicator at the middle of the red color. Tail light as well. If you're an old man, don't be mad. Be patient. Get yourself a tweezer to help yourself installing this very very tiny parts. It comes with these lenses, but looks like it has already been installed on both of this model. Here at the back, another pack. Careful not to cut the wire of the USB charger. Installing the B pillar trim. And then, put it like that. Side mirror for the right side one. This is on the wrong side. Number plate. Ooh. This is actually the antenna. Wow, this looks way better, man. Just like the actual car with the correct thickness. You can also feel it great attention to detail by Huang. Alright, it's damn cool, man. Such a realistic logo on an RC car. And we are done. Just repeat the same thing on a D32 Mini, and I really, really enjoy it just now. On the D32 Mini, you install the clear lens first before installing the red color tail light lens. The remote is a tiny one and you require 2 AA to power it. And I need to unscrew the screw here. So this is the throttle, forward, brake and backward. Steering control, steering trim here to trim your left-right alignment. Button here is the throttle rate. Just press 1 to toggle between low rate and high rate. To start playing, turn on the remote. Red LED will be blinking. Turn on the switch at the bottom of the car. Headlight will be blinking and go solid later because this has been bound before. Otherwise, just rotate the steering to left or right and then it will be bound. And for example, it has lost signal. For example, switching off the radio, the headlight will be blinking. And as you can see here, it's the professional steering. The throttle is also proportional. I'm on a low rate setting now. Press this button once to go into a high throttle rate. It's slightly faster. And first push of the throttle trigger is brake. And then the next push will be uh, reverse. So let's say I throttle now. I push once, brake. And then I push again, it's reverse. The headlight at the front and the tail light for both D22 Mini and D32 Mini. As you trigger the brake, it does go brighter as well. that kind of donut. The surface is slippery enough compared to the other surface and this is on a low rate, not quite able to do a donut. Say this is the radio that you have been playing with the white color one. Once you have the remote turned on, if you want to turn on both of them, you'll be bound to the one that is turned on first. So in this case, let's say I turn on the yellow color first and then the white color, then you'll be bound to the yellow color because this is turned on first. You will not interfere with the other one. This one has no response at all. And I just turn on the second one. Then the white color, the second car will be bound. So you can definitely play this together independently. So, should you get one? 
it's up to you because everyone has different tastes, different needs, different goals with the RC they purchase. Some bought it because it's realistic, some bought it because for its high performance, or top speed capability, or because it's a good basher. But this isn't one. This is a cute little RC made for indoor with license granted from the manufacturer Wuling and CXD had done a good job replicating the 116 scale version of it with a working suspension, proportional controls and even attention to details to those decals or logo. So this would be something you could enjoy chilling driving with your friends and kids and it's not fast enough to cause any injury. But it would definitely add some laughter if for example you play like how TXYZ did here. <laughs> it does not go off-roading. Even a real car does not. This is a cheap, nippy mini EV that goes around a short distance around town, around city, with a very short battery range. It's not designed to cross or scale a tall obstacle on a skate park, for example. Only a newbie or a Calvin Talbot wannabe would use that as a benchmark, whether it's good or not. If someone did, that's a tragic. While shooting a video, I got a stranger to help driving a second car, and this is some of the things he said. There's some good points here. And nowadays, it's so hard for this kind thing in the market. Thing like this has size, you know. Not, not much in the market. It's a uh, different design. You can uh. see this uh, design, you know, it's uh. more relevant to the, our day to day uh. than the uh, SWAT car, the kind of very uh. mature. La. Yeah, yeah, good point, good point. Uh. I think probably for, for women, uh. also potentially <laughs> love it. You know, for this one, it's cute. Uh. More appeal to other market, I mean, other segment, like women. They're willing to buy for girls uh, uh, uh. Okay, if you'd like to get one or for more info check out our second store Asia RZ Depot link in the description sincerely thanks for watching I'll see you on next video bye click the left thumbnail for latest video or smash the subscribe button on the middle of the screen so I'll see you on next video bye click the left thumbnail for latest video